Good evening everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be renovating the very famous goth house in The Sims 4. I have not, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I've never played with the goth house in The Sims 4. I think that it looks kind of cool from the outside, it's a little bit basic. Obviously I guess the idea is that it is in base game so I'm going to continue on and we are going to do this entire thing in base game as well just so that you can use it still if you only have the base game you don't have any other packs. So I'm going to try and make it look as cool and as I think close to to the original as possible keeping all of those a big spacious vibes that i feel like this house has but we're going to start off by just doing a little evaluation of the actual property just because i haven't even properly looked at it myself so let's crack on with today's video and hopefully we can make this feel a little bit more unique i think that it is quite a nice house based off first appearances but let's make it look a little bit nicer so obviously first thing that i'm noticing is that we do have this tiny little building right at the top we then have quite a large open area and the actual roof itself i don't think there's yeah there's no doors or anything that lead to this outside section, so I'm guessing they don't really use it. We've got a sectioned off front part. It's got like decent amount of like little trees and stuff. I think we could use move objects to make that space look a little bit nicer as well. Obviously, we've got a little path that leads up to the main property. We've got quite a thick foundation right at the bottom. And then we do have a back garden, which is very lackluster given that we have so much space. We've got this very red fire protection system, which doesn't look great where it is and obviously we've got another balcony there as well let's go inside the property so it is just the two floors we've got a very elegant looking hallway some thick stairs we've got a dining room right at the end of the hallway which looks pretty nice pretty elegant I'm not going to set myself a budget, I think, for this one, just because this is an absolutely huge house anyway. It's definitely not a starter home, so we can definitely dive in and add a little bit more money into this as well, especially because we do have a lot of space here that we can fill with loads of different objects. Obviously, in our living area, we've got two sofas there, some cabinets behind them with some objects and some lights, a little fireplace with the world's smallest picture directly above this huge fireplace, which I'm definitely going to change. Not the biggest fan of the wallpapers around obviously they're a bit of like the sort of older style wallpapers so it kind of makes sense that they've used them here we've got a little chest set as well obviously we don't have any doors that lead from the entrance hallway into our living area space so i don't really mind that too much because it does kind of give that old sort of victorian vibe obviously right next to the dining area we have our kitchen space we've got this random chair which i'm not too sure why that's there because that definitely doesn't fit with the vibe of the place sort of a smaller like kind of tea station where you can sit in the actual kitchen very long very long kitchen loads of cabinets so many cabinets so i'm definitely going to change this just because these cabinets are really low down as well and it feels a bit odd we've obviously got our little like more, more cabinets over here with our sink and everything too so let's go over here we've got a small downstairs bathroom as well which just consists of toilet and sink we can then go upstairs and let's see what we have upstairs so immediately as soon as you get out you see a massive grand piano so what's up i think a little bit weird about this space is that it kind of looks like it's meant to be party space because of the large piano but it actually feels like maybe they're just using it as a practicing play space i like to have pianos in a space where we have dining or a bar as well just so that it feels a bit more like it's an entertaining space obviously we've got our balcony over here which connects up to this so this i'm definitely thinking we can make into some kind of entertainment space just because we've got the balcony we've got the piano obviously our first bedroom coming off of here very purple very purple like i wouldn't even i would call it like magenta this is like a very bright room i might tone that back a little bit just because it's feeling a little bit bright but it's pretty cute got a little desk got a tablet not too bad little bookcase obviously then if we go down the hallway a little bit we've got our bathroom over here it's a nice looking bathroom again i feel like it's a little bit like lacking there's a lot of empty spaces and for some reason as well the bathroom leads out to a secondary balcony not too sure why the bathroom would lead out to a balcony but it's there we've got some chairs out there as well obviously then we do have a another bedroom is there only two bedrooms here there is okay oh no hang on there's a second bedroom up here so we've got we've got three bedrooms actually that's fine but we've got this bedroom here which is i guess more like a slightly more master bedroom it's very like elegant looking so probably for the older part of the actual household got our desk got a little like boutony thing over there and some sofas and then obviously they have their own 
an ensuite as well. So then let's head upstairs. So we've got the single bedroom up here. Still looking quite nice. We've got a little chess set again up here too, but there's not really like a whole lot going on up here. It feels a little bit boring. And then obviously we don't have any chairs that leads us out into the outside section, which is fine. So let's crack on and see what we can do. I'm going to start on the outside of the property for sure, just so that we can make that looking a little bit nicer and then we can move on to the inside after. So I'm not going to change the location of the building. I think that's fine because it does give us this massive outdoor section too. Obviously at the moment in my game it is autumn so we do have all of these dead leaves around which is fine. I'll leave those there for now. I think I'm actually going to start off by just removing all of the plants in this back garden, in like the front garden here just so that we can move all these plants around and just make it feel a little bit nicer. I think I'm also going to put our mailbox just at the front of the house just because it looked a bit stuck where it was. I am thinking we maybe change up these walls just because they don't particularly go with what we've got there. I think it's mainly because they have a white tip to the top of them and obviously it does have this darker color all the way across the ground. I am going to get rid of that just to make it a little bit nicer because it's a bit of a kind of grotty color. We're now seeing all of these leaves that we've got from it, the fact that it is autumn. I'm going to change this fence like wall fence that we've now made just so that it does match color palette. I'm thinking we can just go with some bricks that we've basically made our own fence. Something like this one is quite nice I think and we'll just add that all the way around then I'm going to change the trim so that it's slightly darker and I'm much more of a fan of it now. I think that it's starting to look a lot better. So now what I'm basically going to do is just flood this entire section with various plants but only around these edges here. I think we can use this front garden for something because it's still slightly covered. I think that we can make it look quite nice still. I'm going to basically just use alt and then the fact that we've got bb.move objects on is basically just going to help us be able to push things a little bit closer towards the actual building so that it doesn't feel like they're only being placed without the freedom of movement. And we are going to go with some of the same plants that they originally had anyway just to keep kind of that authenticity. This is one of my favorite plants here. It's literally just low pile yellow flowers. I just think that it's going to add like that slight bit of brightness to the root like to the outside area that it kind of needs. It had a lot of these which is just the little like flowers and the slightly smaller bush. I'm literally just going to put those right up against this edge here and due to the foundation we're not going to have it then clipping into a room as well which is always good. Now that we've added sort of some plants all the way across that edge part I'm thinking we could add maybe a tree back over here because we did have a tree there in the first place. Go with maybe just a little one like this I'm even going to make it smaller so that it's not that absolutely huge one that was there before and I'm going to add a tree over this side as well and we can just pop it there. So that's looking a little bit nicer for our front garden already. I do want to add just a little bit of dirt going around the outskirts of the building and maybe our little fence here just to make it feel a little bit like they're a bit more three-dimensional. Alternatively, we could actually do this sort of rough patch of grass. I think that was what was there originally all over the front garden and this basically just makes it feel like there is actually a object sitting on the grass as opposed to just like placed there. That's looking a lot nicer now. I think we can go ahead and maybe do the back garden and then I'm gonna basically just gra <laughs> grab and move around some things on the outside of the building and maybe add a little bit because it's looking very plain at the moment. So in our back garden obviously we've got a lot of this sort of tiling. We've then got just some random bits of grass, which I'm assuming that they're there to just add some plants to the area. Now for this back section, I am fine with the, I'm, I'm less fine with this fence still, but I think I might actually switch it up to be just a wall again. Okay, yeah, I'm liking this more. It's, it's coming out okay. I think I do want there to be more grassy areas. I think what we could maybe do is add the grassy area over here instead. And I kind of just want to fill that other section back in because I don't really like the fact that it's got this random square. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I like that. We can then do something over here that looks like a little bit nicer. Alternatively, we can actually pull it even further and we can just have this whole area be grass, which could actually look quite nice. Let's have a look. Yeah, I kind of like that. Add a little bit more grass into it. I think that looks pretty. We'll add... I don't really see why the bin is here, to be honest, just because we don't even have a door that leads like out of this area here. So it's a bit of a weird place to put it. I'm tempted to actually just dump it around here somewhere. We could put it over here where it's like just around the back. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. We don't need it visible. Then basically I'm going to go ahead and just do all of the same plants that we did around the front, around the back so that we have a bit of consistency. Here, so I've basically just added a bunch of plants all the way around the outside of our back garden. It's looking a lot nicer now, so I'm just going to go in with 
with the same thing of this and just add some extra bits of dirt, make it feel a little bit rougher where everything kind of connects up. We don't really have a lot of the like bare items, but I'm just going to add it underneath this tree and things as well. Then let's go around the entire house and just do the same thing. Then finally, the last thing I want to do to the this back garden here is just maybe add some little seating or something so it's actually being used as a space unlike before. Thinking we can maybe have some kind of fountain right at the back as well. That looks quite nice. And then we could add some seating over here. Kind of also tempted to add maybe a couple more plants just it for extra decoration over here in this corner. Just kind of ones that look like they would be outside. There you go. I think that looks a little bit nicer. I think we do have a bit of space over here. I don't know whether I want to include something over there too. Half me is very tempted just to make it a bit more usable and actually put a barbecue there, which I think I am actually going to do just because I think it'll be a little bit nicer for the residents living there. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. I do want to remove this thing or actually can I change the color of it? Maybe even just that's better. Why did they pick like this horrible red color? I understand that it needs to be there, but it's like just this absolutely horrible color. It did not need to be that color. So now we're going to go ahead and just change up the outside of the building, which I'm not a fan of. I think it looks really bad. I think just the windows are very boring. We might be able to get some better windows, although it is in base game that I'm talking. So we might not actually be able to find anything nicer, but let's have a look and see whether we can. There's a few things. I think this even looks nicer than the ones that are there. I don't mind these. I in fact even use these in a lot of my builds when I'm not doing base game, but I just think like these black ones just look so much nicer. We can't necessarily get them in like the slightly larger windows though, which I think was kind of the point. And these are a little bit too modern. Part of me does want to lower the roof just so that it's not this really tall roof because I never build on this high roof here. Let's let's do it and let's see what happens. So I'm going to lower all of that. It hasn't bumped anything into my home storage, so that's good. I'm going to do it over here as well. Obviously, it will make the entire house shorter, but I think it's fine. I think that's fine. What size is this? That's large too, so I'm going to make that smaller too. And obviously, it's kind of just like floating a lot of these windows a little bit taller than they need to be. So now we can go ahead and just change some of the windows. I'm not a big fan of any of these ones here. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit nicer. I might put them back if I can't make them look better but I want to see if I can try. Even like having them in a slightly darker black looks better so I don't really know why they didn't just do that in the first place. What I'm thinking is let's actually go with these because and um, we'll put them right on the ground because I think that looks nicer too. Then I want to see if I can find some nicer ones to put directly above it. These are a little bit too big now. Another thing that I'm somewhat contemplating uh no okay so those don't actually fit there because we've got this rim but I was thinking we could actually do squares at the bottom and then leading up to the slightly taller one. Let's see if that works. I just think like shape wise they look a little bit nicer. So if we were to do for example these and I'm obviously going to do them in black they do look a little bit smaller but if we do these all around here and then make the round ones at the top how does that look if we put them like this. Tell you what that already looks better like I like that more than what we had previously. I, I'm thinking as well we can actually add a what are these like a trim to all of the inside here just because I think that also kind of looks better it sections everything off a bit I think there's just not enough going on on the actual brickwork so we go to something like this and that looks nicer then do I want to raise them up I actually think it looks kind of nice just sitting on that trim there but I definitely feel like that looks better than it did previously the windows here obviously like because we've got some smaller ones they don't look like they fit very well either I'm gonna add this trim around the entire house I think as well looks a bit odd otherwise I think we'll deal with all of the other ones in a second but I'm just gonna go slowly around the house and just fix up all the windows. I'll skip that part for you guys though just because that ain't that exciting. Okay so I've changed all the windows around. It's looking a lot nicer. I've kind of gone with the thought process of if it's upstairs we'll go with this more rounder window and if it's downstairs we'll go with this more rectangular window. I've also added two of these slightly smaller ones here just because they were very randomly placed and didn't look that great. We've changed a couple of these. There was also obviously the door that led out from the bathroom upstairs. I'm not going to do that one because it's very strange. So instead, I'm going to actually put the door here so that it leads out from this more like party space that I'm going to make it. Definitely going to have to include some windows in this bathroom though, just because obviously otherwise you're going to be able to see through the bathroom when you're out on this decking area and that's not going to look that great. We do just need to go through doors real quick. So what kind of doors would look the best? I'm thinking for this door up here, we could actually go with something a bit different from the larger doors we did everywhere else. Else. We could go with something like this that matches our windows. I think that kind of looks fine. Do we have a slightly taller version? 
Obviously, that is the taller version, the one that we've kind of put everywhere else. Maybe we don't, it doesn't need to be that tall. We'll go with the slightly smaller one. Or we could go with something like this, which I think actually weirdly looks good. So I'm going to include that one. I think the less windows is kind of better, to be honest. And I think I am going to include one of these like slightly smaller windows just here. I'm going to mimic that downstairs as well. I'm fine with this chair, but let's pop it in the middle of where we've got these windows here, just so that it makes a bit more sense where it's placed. Actually, there is fine, because otherwise there's a pillar in the way. Then I might include one upstairs. Actually, I think it's fine up there. We've got this wall as well, which I removed all of the windows from, and I'm actually going to add ivy, just because I think that'll add like a little bit to it too. Hopefully it's not going to be too bright though. I think we do have ivy in base game, but I'm just going to actually double check. Ah, we don't. Okay, so never mind. We're not going to include ivy unless can we get some in the debug mode? There's some plants and things that we can get in debug. Let's have a look at maybe including because we've got like these things, but they're they're not perfect ivy. We do have a few other cute little items in here that I might include as well we've got some like hanging plants which i think look kind of cute which we definitely can't get anywhere else could we include these up here or would that look a bit odd i think that probably looks a little bit odd i don't think you'd really have that in a slightly more victorian house we've got these these are definitely not ivy it's just massive leaves we've got a big tree that can go on the side of a building this is kind of ivy so we could use this it's not exactly the right shade that i was thinking of though oh this is better so this is like the slightly different kind Kind of shade that I was thinking where it's slightly darker more dreary which is perfect I think for the goth house although it does contain flowers but I think we're gonna have to deal with it a little bit we've got a few different types as well that I'm just going to incorporate in there we do have this hanging like one as well but I don't think I'm going to include that and at this point I'm just kind of mixing up my own like tree to make it feel like my own ivy so that it doesn't feel like as much like I've just kind of placed it there and it doesn't belong I feel like that a lot with debug items you do just kind of have to move them around a bit so how is that that looks okay i think it might need to come around this section a little bit though something i want to double check after this as well is just that it's not going through to the other room no it looks okay okay so i think we're fine i think that looks pretty good it's got this nice strange little like ivy coming up it obviously in there are quite a few different bits of ivy that you can use impacts and i would have rather used those but would stick in with base game i said i was going to stick to it and i'm going to stick to it regardless of how difficult it is for our doors though i think i am going to stick to the normal doors that it gave us just because that does make sense but i'm going to change the color to be black instead so that it matches all of our windows and i am going to do it with this one so that we can actually go outside i think i'm just going to add a small door here just because i can't see why you wouldn't want to just have like an additional door to get onto your roof we won't make it like a big thing though i'm thinking we just go with a small door maybe just something like that in the corner okay so it's looking pretty good so far i'm pretty happy with the changes that we've made i do just want to change the roof like color i guess because it doesn't look that amazing i think it could look a little bit nicer even just like a little bit more texture would be better i think or just like even making it a little bit darker looks nicer yeah i like that more now i've got the same issue with the chimney that we had for the front part i don't think we should have white there nowhere else it has white so it just doesn't really go but i don't even know can we get a chimney that isn't white here that doesn't have any kind of form of white but also still looks old we actually can't so what i'm gonna do is actually just make my own chimney because that's really annoying so to do that i'm literally just going to do a two block there i might actually have to make that just be half walls instead just because it's a bit big otherwise i'm literally just going to do two coming out like that and then as a little trick what we're going to do is literally just i think raise it up i think we could actually just do this top level as just like a small one how does that look if i then pull all these down that does look a little bit better then we can do like a proper size chimney which is kind of what i was hoping because otherwise it does come out a little bit strange and the idea then is that we can go in and do half walls just literally like that one i think we can add it in here and then i'm gonna add a rooftop like this on top and that's gonna give us some texture pop that in there make it a short as possible like that that's looking pretty good already we can then go in and change our walls so i'm gonna use the same one that's over here i was tempted to actually use this on the entire house how do we feel about that let's just see if there's any other brick that works a little bit better because i don't really like the one that's on there because it feels very clean and i want to go with a bit more of an older house i think we should do that across the entire outside i'm also going to change the wood here to just be this slightly more 
more rustic looking wood just because that looks nicer as well there i'm going to do that all the way across here there we go so i think that's done for our outside section we can now move on to our inside i think that it's definitely looking a little bit nicer we've got a little bit more going on i think it looks less boring so let's now move on to the inside of the property so obviously very bougie hallway we have gotten rid of a window over here that i need to just get rid of the curtain for i'm thinking we could put something big on this back section here i'm going to remove these extra chairs i think that we could just have a bit more in this space i do like the fact that it is like a very large dining area i think that we could how do i i don't really like this thing in the middle of the table so i'm going to remove that let's see if there's any better rugs and I do want to change the colors of these chairs but I do like the style that they've gone with even just like red would have been a nicer color I think kind of like this one a little bit more it's a bit darker but it's got a little bit less texture going on and if we make it a bit bigger or is it it's actually way too big if we make it bigger maybe this rug is fine what colors have we got maybe that are different I'm trying to think of like what kind of color scheme we want to go with in this room I think that'll probably help a little bit to try and work out something that looks a bit nicer we could obviously just go with a big round black rug how does that look it looks okay i kind of do maybe we should just stick with the rug that's in there it's a bit textured is my only problem we could actually make it a bit less textured by adding another rug on top and kind of like stacking them see if any of these make it work that's a little bit nicer i actually like that more so let's go with that we'll stack those rugs that looks a bit nicer then let's change the color of all of these i think red is fine for a dining room we'll go with these ones where we've got the slight darker tone so that we don't have wood in there and then i'm gonna go with should we stick with the same table i think the table's fine actually that's fine definitely need to change the light i'm not a fan of this like big sort of i like the chandelier side of things but i think that we could do a little bit better maybe make something a little bit nicer directly above it or even just making it bigger make it black make it bigger let's see how that looks is that a bit too big it's probably a little bit too big isn't it i just feel like it needs to be grander base game has very limited amount of things that you can actually have coming down from the ceiling which sucks this is the one that like i would honestly pick it just kind of sucks that it's like very plain and not big enough i would rather it be like way larger and i wish that this came in black we can get it in blue but then it has like this white color to it which doesn't particularly work so i guess we're gonna have to stick with this light but let's add some decorations to the table because the table is very boring and, and we have this absolutely huge table i definitely need some stuff on it so i'm thinking we go with maybe some um, flowers we can get them in this color i think this looks very luxurious and very nice i'm trying to think if i want actually anything else on the table or whether having those flowers there kind of works could have a small salt and pepper i might just add that here right in the middle although if i'm going to put something on that side i definitely need something on the other side as well or actually it doesn't look too bad i think it actually looks all right but i'm going to switch the sides just because we're going to have more stuff on this side of the room and it makes more sense to have a little bit more going on over here if we're having more over here so on this side of the room what i was thinking is that we could actually have a small table with a couple of lights on them because obviously we do already have this thing here with some plates and things in it this is okay but it definitely needs to be moved back just pressed up against the wall there and can we make it a darker color actually this shade is a little bit nice because it matches the red that we have in the room already i just want to have a quick look and see if there's any better statues that we could actually have in that corner something like this works i think quite well in this kind of room the only issue is that it's still again got that like white in it which isn't amazing i would rather it just be a black statue but i guess you wouldn't really have it in black anyway unlocked these additional items just to see if there was anything here that might look a little bit nicer I think something like this actually looks kind of cool because it's like a display piece that you would have in there. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller though just because it's absolutely huge. It actually looks a little bit nice. I like that more. Then let's go over here and what I was thinking is that we can do a small table and just put like some lights either side of it just to make the room a little bit brighter. Something like this would probably work pretty well. Yeah, I like that. And then we can add, I'm going to add two lights either side and then just something small in the middle, I think. So something like this, I think works. Then I did like this thing, but I didn't like it in the middle of the table. So I might actually pop that here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And I don't mind the walls that are in here either, but I do think there needs to be a picture up here just because we'd have emptied that space now and it looks a little bit bare. And this is where the money's probably really going to come into it because I'm going to pick some more expensive and extravagant pictures. So I'm going to go with maybe that one. I mean, a little, a darker one probably better or like a family portrait this one's a little bit darker if we make it a bit bigger how does that look that looks quite nice i like the fact that it matches the color palette that we've got in there and we could just pop that there that looks 
pretty good actually and it definitely brightens up the room a little bit as well and something else i'm actually going to do is i'm going to split off the dining area from the entrance hallway just because i think that that's a little bit odd that it's kind of laid out like that we are going to have to move this in a little bit and then i'm actually just going to section off the door here so this is now its own little room which i think is much better it's going to make it easier for us to be able to do like some different bits i think we do need to actually put the wall all the way up to there it hasn't done the wall there and then that's going to make this its own little room there we go that feels a little bit nice so we do actually have a lot of space over here now so i do kind of want to put something over here i did oh actually we could actually just do a doorway instead of just that open arch i'm actually going to use the same one that's over here then i'm going to fill back in the wooden flooring that we had there so that it feels a little bit more like it's its own space don't really like this thing kind of just sitting in this corner what i might do is actually just put it over here that looks a little bit nicer then we do have this light over here which i quite like i might include that over here as well but i want it a bit more central now for me is actually tempted just to move everything over a little bit yeah i like that more it's more it feels like more in the center of the room and it doesn't get in the way of that table there which is what i was not a big fan of okay so i think that room's looking pretty good we can then move on to our hallway over here so i don't mind these but they're feeling a little bit like kind of cottagey i feel like we could probably choose some slightly nicer ones i'll keep them there for now though but i would move them off to the side of the room like this you can have a quick look and see if there's anything else though i don't know how i feel about like this marbling it feels like very luxurious so maybe i'll keep it but i'll have a quick look first just see if there's anything else that i want to add in these corners think what i'm actually gonna do let's remove these and i'm gonna remove these slightly smaller ones on either side here as well and i'm actually going to do two small tables and then we're going to put these flowers that we put in the other room on those like this yeah that looks nicer i like that more it's a little bit more like laid out then i'm just looking at the moment about maybe putting a rug directly in front of the door if we do something a bit smaller like this i think that works a bit better then i'm just basically just moving a few things around changing some colors i think this is quite nice but i want one on either side instead of it sort of being directly above it i kind of do like this guy but i'm gonna move him just like here instead so he's he was a little bit squished i think pop that door there so that it's not in the way i think our hallway is looking a little bit nicer now it looks a little bit more laid out i'm just gonna like maybe have a look at this and change it don't know how i feel it's, it's got very bright colors we could make it into like this red one but i still feel like it stands out quite a bit and i didn't want it to stand out another alternative is that we actually just change the flooring which works too so we could change it to some kind of just like black carpet like this how does that look a little bit weird i wish it was a bit darker maybe what about this one it's got pattern to it mm, not particularly it wasn't kind of the same vibe i was thinking about to be fair though even this one looks a little bit better i think it was just too big maybe that looks fine so let's move on now to our living area which i definitely want to change up quite drastically i think that there's definitely some stuff that we can do to this room i'm actually half tempted to just remove it all but i want to try and stick to the feeling of the original room so i'm not going to do that i think the fireplace being here would actually be a little bit better i'm gonna remove move these things around a little bit we're gonna shuffle this over here let's see what kind of fireplaces we actually have because i might end up changing that i'm gonna get rid of this thing as well so that one is kind of the most grand one that we have we do have this one but i kind of like this one more because it's got sort of that marbling texture to it the only actually the only issue that i have is that it's a little bit too wide for where we then put these windows this one actually kind of works a bit better and we can keep that picture above it which i said it definitely needed but i might change the picture just because it doesn't have that black trim around the frame that i wanted this one's probably a little bit better then i am gonna move these bits over i think those were kind of all right we'll go with a slight goldy tinge to a lot of these and let's get rid of that fireplace then obviously we would have the chairs sort of facing either side but either side of this fireplace like this i'm gonna move this over here now just because i think i don't mind that being there i might see if there's like a skinnier one just because that is like a whole table i'm gonna copy the same light that we have in the other rooms as well and just pop that in there instead of the one that I had previously i am actually going to get rid of that we'll keep this little globe because i think that's cute but i'm going to get rid of this and i'm actually going to swap it for the same one we have in the dining room with probably the same lights we do have like a little bit of space over here as well which kind of looks a bit bare i think let's 
pull these over. Pull this over as well. I don't mind the lights either. I think the lights are kind of nice. Definitely want to change the walls as well, which I'll change in a second. I'm going to use the same little lights that we had over there as well. And then we can put the globe in the middle. I'm going to shuffle these up. And then I think either side of here, we can have some additional lights. But the thing is, we've got lights on there already. So it might look a bit odd. I'll consider maybe something else in a second. We do have these big lights too, which I'm tempted to put here. Bit of a fire hazard because they're directly next to these curtains, which do I want to keep the curtains? Let's let's keep the curtains. We'll move those for a second and I'm just going to shuffle these around so they fit. Then I'm going to change the walls just because at the moment these are not the best walls. I think we could go with a little bit nicer ones given that this is the living room. They kind of look like maybe bedroom. I think the blue is actually quite nice. I'm going to go with these ones just because it does make it feel a little bit brighter in there. But if we're going to do that, I definitely feel like we need to change everything to be more this bluey tone which feels like quite royal and I think it does stand out against the quite red colors that we've done in the rest of the rooms we'll go with these blue curtains as well I'm having a look at this table and I'm thinking that we can maybe do something a bit different in there but I'm gonna see then I think we could potentially go with a more luxurious plant over here or we can switch that for the light I think I might actually switch that for the light because these are quite nice although we do have a little bit of clipping from this plant let's see if I can fix that that's a little bit better I think then if we pop that there we could actually do two lights either side here which I think works quite well let's get rid of these plants pop these in the corner instead and definitely go with these black ones then I do want to shuffle this over just so that it's a bit more towards those windows and gives us a little bit more space as well we do have like quite a bit of space over here that I'm not the biggest fan of I'm tempted to see whether maybe we can move this over here put the light there instead and then what we could do is add the table that we've got here over here which I think that does actually look a little bit nicer obviously that does make this rug way too big so what if we made it a bit smaller pulled everything in a bit more how does that look still not a big fan of this rug just being as dark as it is and like with all of these light parts i think maybe let's let's look at a different rug it's looking okay in the room at the moment feeling like the space is being used a little bit better i think if i was going to use the rug we could maybe put it like there but i'm going to see if there's a different color or a different type of rug that might work nicer this one's quite nice I think it looks all right in this sort of gray tone as well. Okay, yeah, I feel like that looks a little bit better. We'll move this thing here and I might do some little side tables next to the sofas. So I've got one there, but I'm thinking that we could also incorporate maybe just a little secondary seat like this just that we can have more people sitting in this living area. Yeah, I feel like that looks a little bit nicer. It feels more inviting, I think. We do have a lot of bits over here. I think I'm going to change the color of that because the white was just not it. I'm going to move these two things to be a little bit more separate, and then we need a big picture behind there. Something like this looks quite nice. And then I definitely feel like we need a few more plants. I'm going to add, we'll do symmetrical plants that were on the other side of the room over this side this time. Do I think that looks quite nice? Okay, I feel like that just looks a little bit nicer to the eye now. So let's move over to, I guess we go over to this bathroom, which is really awful. I just think that there was really not that much put into it. It looks very plain. And also this walls are just uh, gross. We can definitely fix that up a little bit. Even just with going with like this looks way nicer. It's that same tiling, but it's not all the way up the wall, which I think made it just look very weird. Go with the same lighting that was in there. I actually don't mind what we've kind of picked here. I think the issue that I've got is that it just doesn't look like it's being, it's using the space properly. So to fix that, basically what I'm gonna do is move this over. We can have this still be here. I'm gonna put the toilet over on this side. Obviously we'd need our towel on the other side. I don't know how I feel about this towel though. It's brown. We could go with it in black, which looks nicer already we do then have this side which obviously i do want to put something over there there are a few like cabinets that belong in side of like bathrooms specifically so i'm going to see whether there's any of those we've got this one but it's in white and does not come in any dark colors we do have a little cabinet as well which is fine but doesn't really take up that much space this one but it's very industrial feeling so another thing i'm kind of thinking about is just adding like this kind of cabinet just in here so that it just looks like the space is being used a little bit better I think I do like that a lot more I think it's just a little bit more crowded looks a little bit nicer so that's fine let's move over to our kitchen now which I am not a fan of this kitchen I have no idea why this is here just removing that I think it's mainly just because it's very crowded down this end like on this side but then has this like rug in the middle here with a little coffee station I do like this I'm not a big fan of the colors of the table but I think we can maybe move that all the way over there 
Definitely changing the walls because there's a lot going on and it feels really crowded. Gonna get rid of this rug. Don't know why there's a rug in a kitchen. Bad idea. Obviously the walls are now looking a little bit better in these I can push upwards. I'm gonna get rid of all of these counter spaces over here just because I don't think they're needed. And that's feeling a little bit more like we actually have a kitchen space now. I do like this bit here. We obviously did change the window a little bit. So now we do actually have a window over here which is nicer. I think what I'm going to do is actually put the oven here because it makes sense to have an oven right next to a window. And then what I'm going to do is actually just extend these over so that we still have these nice little cabinets. And then I'm going to put the oven here. So we move that, grab our oven, pop it here, and then we can put a exhaust directly above as well. So contemplating whether or not I want to actually change these cabinets just because I do think at least make them so they have a black top to them. But let's change the walls first and then base our colour palette off of those walls. So I think this is the one that it's picked. It's, I think, just too much. I think there's too much pattern there. So I'm going to look for something that's a little bit more simplistic. We could actually, let we could go brighter with the kitchen, but I keep forgetting that this is the goth house, so it's supposed to be like darker, all in tones. Something like this feels a little bit nicer though, just because it doesn't have that really like heavy textured and patterned wall which I was just was not a fan of. Obviously on the inside here though we do have white windows which is kind of annoying that it's black on the outside but white on the inside but I think we're just gonna have to deal because I'm not redoing all of the windows on the outside. I guess it's only these little ones but we could see if there's any that have like the black on the inside. Obviously these ones do. These ones are all right actually. I think I might change them to these because they're very similar to what we've already picked for the big windows. We'll have to do it up here as well though. I think that's fine. Yeah it looks a bit better. Then add our little exhaust directly above the oven. Think that side's kind of fine. I think I would rather go with creamy tones, to be honest, in here. Just because we do have that kind of, like, browner shades going on. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Let's pop this over this side, and then we need to change all our cabinets so they have that black top to them. Just going to move a couple of these cabinets around so they feel a little bit nicer. I think we could probably do an end cabinet over here as well. Trying to work out whether I want cabinets going all the way across this side. I think it might look pretty good. I'm going to test it out. Okay, I kind of like this. I think this looks okay. What I'm actually thinking, though, is that we could incorporate some shelves as well. We could potentially just put them directly underneath here so that they're in line and then we can add some additional items on there because I like the short ones but it does look a little bit odd. I also don't know how I feel about this thing because I kind of like it but it feels like it sits really close in your eyesight when you're playing the game. Now I'm just going to add a bunch of decorations to here and we're just going to decorate the cabinets as well. Obviously we're going to have to go with like some slightly smaller ones because we don't really have that much space. I think books should be able to fit. Let's have a look. Yeah they kind of fit so we could do quite a few books up there as well and just sort of pretend that they're like cookery books. I think that's kind of fine. We can't really see much up there anyway so it doesn't really matter too much about filling it in. I think we could probably do a different sink. Not a big fan of that sink. We do have, obviously, I think, do I want these things here? We could put the fridge over this side. I know we did have a, a corner, like an end piece over there. Let's add back in our end piece and just add in our different bits and then work out. I am going to get rid of this just because it is very up in your face. And we do have these ones we can put on the wall instead. And I think they look a little bit nicer. Then I'm just adding some little decorations around just to make it look a little bit better. The only issue I have with this kitchen so far is just that we don't have a lot going going on here but I guess we do have our sink here so we could add the sink in and then maybe put like a hand towel or something directly behind it. We do have a few of these plates as well that I've already put over there and that could look good if we add, can we add some more in? I'm just trying to work out the colour palette for it. The blue ones actually look quite good. We could do those ones there and could I change this so they were blue too? They could be, okay, so they can only be like this gold or gray. So we're going to go with that one. Then we can add the little hand towel right next to it. And then let's pop in our sink. And then I think we're kind of done. There's a little bit of space over on this top, like left-hand corner that I'm just going to change as well. But let's pop that there. How does that look? I'd say that looks better better than it was i think we can move these so that they're a little bit more in line yeah i feel like that looks a lot less sort of cluttered we need obviously a bin i did move this over here just because i think that's fine being over there it's mainly where your plates and things anyway then we can pop our bin in the corner there too and i think that's kind of done for our kitchen space definitely think that looks a little bit nicer so then we're done with our downstairs we can now move upstairs so obviously upstairs we're definitely going to do quite a bit too because I wanted this to be our party space and that's obviously going to involve quite a lot of rearranging. Going to get rid of this rug, this divider not needed. This is 
quite cute. I kind of like that. We've obviously, they've changed the lights upstairs from the ones that we had downstairs, but I might bring those back up just because those were quite pretty. Don't really understand why we've got two clocks directly next to each other either, but let's get rid of those. I'm going to go down and grab that wall light that we had down here and we can put this directly above the door there. I'm going to do it to this one as well. I think. We do have this random little space over here as well that I guess divides the stairs up there to the bathroom, creating like almost its own little hallway. I think let's do two of these here and we'll do one there for that instead of the lighting that it's picked just because I do think these feel a little bit nicer in this space. Add a lot more light in just because this is the party space it makes sense. I do like this clock but I don't know how well it fits in with the environment we'll keep it there for now obviously we do want a bar somewhere and we are going to want some seating so that we can actually sit down i'm thinking we can maybe do some sofas and stuff i'm going to put the bar maybe this side and then we can maybe have some seating over here but i'm not too sure yet let's have a look because obviously we need to put this big piano somewhere too if we put the piano maybe here i think you should still be able to get there we could then maybe put a couple of seats I'm trying not to do them like scattered around, but we might end up having to do that. It's just trying to work out where I want this bar. I feel like the bar here would be a good idea. If we did it like there, how does that look? I don't really like that bar actually. I liked it originally, but then it's got a big white bar going across it right, right at the bottom that just doesn't look that great. This one's got a gold bar and that actually doesn't look as bad. So let's go with that one. We've then got our small little bar. We've got some musical instruments. I'm gonna move this, um, I think this is a violin. We can pop the violin over here against this wall then we can basically just put a bunch of seating like sort of scattered around this space here. Definitely stick with the red I think that makes it feel more luxurious. I'm just worried because this is like where you walk to upstairs that it's gonna feel a little bit strange having a bunch of chairs sort of scattered around. I think let's move this over here and then maybe I could just put a couple more chairs there and it's not gonna feel as weird. We'll move this over a little bit as well. I do like this clock but I just feel like it doesn't really fit in with the room. We've got these sort of fancy red chairs that I think I'm going to include. Then let's grab a little table for the center of that. Okay, so I've added a few more bits of decorations. I think it's looking a little bit nicer. I think last bit I want to add is just a little rug in the center here. And then I think that's probably good for this hallway. Okay, I think that's looking a little bit better. It's feeling a little bit nicer in this space. I don't know what I want to do with this rug just because I'm kind of... Actually, maybe something like that actually kind of works. Yeah, I feel like that. that that's a little bit better. Okay, so let's move over to our bedrooms now. Obviously, we've got two bedrooms on this floor and then we've got two bathrooms. One of them is being an ensuite. Obviously, what I wanted to do with this room was get rid of this horrible magenta color. It is not a nice color. This rug is very modern as well. So I'm going to start by getting rid of that. We've used these side tables and these lights before, so they're fine. This is a very modern piece too. So I'm going to get rid of that one. The rest of the furniture is fine. I think I just need to change some of the color palettes. We've got a very modern picture over here as well. I don't mind the wallpaper too much except for I feel like it's it is going for that weirdly more modern look about this entire room. So I'm gonna just see if we can maybe tone it down a bit and make it a bit more comfortable Victorian that we've kind of got in the rest of the house. Obviously it does have that pink tone so I am thinking we can keep that pink tone. Something like this I feel like looks a bit better but it's a little bit more rustic looking. This is nicer. See even this is is nicer. I think it still keeps that slightly like pink tone. It's got the boards and everything. It just looks a little bit better. Then obviously I am going to change the beds. The issue that I see is I don't know if we're going to be able to get that same pinky tone in one of these beds. So let's go have a look at what beds they've got. I might just end up sticking with this sort of nice floral design as I think that kind of goes with the walls as well. There's not that many beds in base games so I don't think we'll have like a whole lot of choices. Especially if we don't want to include like all of these whites that it seems to want us to include. I think this is fine. We'll stick with this. It definitely needs a bit more light though. I'm going to include this here just to make the room feel a bit brighter. I'm going to change these maybe to be... What was the colour we were using before? This like sort of marbled brown colour. Looks a little bit nicer and then I'm going to change these to be black. We've got the same lamp a few times around the room so I'm going to remove that because that looks a bit odd. I think this looks good but let's push it up a bit towards the bed. See if we can get it in a nicer colour. Don't know if we can get it in like a light pink that doesn't have white. We've got kind of like this creamy colour that matches the bed. Or actually yeah this one matches perfectly. It's a little bit whiter I think but it's fine. Then obviously I'm going to get rid of these. The colour that we've got on these just because they're not that nice either. We could go with this creamy colour. I think that works. I do think we want to incorporate pink 
think maybe a little bit more. Get rid of this chair. I think the table, the desk's quite nice because obviously it's got that Victorian feel about it. We go with maybe like this brown colour. It kind of works with these side tables. Got some pretty flowers that I quite like, but I don't know where I want to incorporate those. I don't know why we've got two mirrors that are basically being covered up by whatever objects are on there. Let's remove that, put the flowers over here because I think the flowers look quite pretty. Change some of the tones that we've got in here around. Like the brown one probably looks a little bit better. Obviously we need our chair for our table. The only issue I have is that the browns are slightly different tones. These are quite dark and this is not really that dark enough. This would be darker but you can't really see it that well. It ends up being like too dark. I'll have a might come back to that in a second but I want to just add a rug as well underneath here to make it feel cozier. We could go with this nice pink one because that kind of goes with the tones on the walls. The ones that we've got on the walls though are a little bit peachier so I don't know if there's maybe maybe like this one might work a bit better. Yeah I think that does look a little bit nicer. Kind of got everything in line now especially if I put that little table just in line with the bed. I'm gonna move this chair over here and then see if we can get it in a slightly nicer colour. We can match it there and then I'm gonna move this lamp over here. The only issue is we've got a lamp there so maybe we just need to swap spaces. Put the flowers there and then we can put the lamp there. How does that look? Looks okay. We've got a few random posters that I'm just gonna move. This picture again very modern. I think we could maybe, could we do with another wardrobe or is that maybe a bit too much? I feel like we do just need something over on this side. It's very bare at the moment. Let's see, can we get like maybe some displays or something? We do have these little shelves which work with that sort of Victorian style and with the colour palette that we're using. So I might do a couple of those like here. Is that Does that look a bit weird? Maybe they should be a bit higher up. It's always harder to gauge it when you've got like a really textured wall like this. I think that looks all right though. Then let's put some items on top of there as well. Okay, so I just added some little scrolls, some flowers and some books. I think that's looking pretty nice. I think we do need, I'm, I wish I could incorporate more clutter, but it's really difficult with the like bit being in base game. You have so much less like items that you can include. This is quite nice though, I think. Can I change the color so that it's matches a little bit better? Yeah, that matches a little bit. Okay, how are we feeling about this room now? I do feel like maybe we need something on top of this bookcase here. Trying to incorporate more plants, just because I think, especially in bedrooms, they always look quite nice. Something like that looks quite good. I think we do need a bit more over on this desk. Yeah, feel like this room's a little bit nicer now, a little bit more coordinated, not that horrible magenta colour. So let's move over to our next room, which is obviously, I guess, like the master bedroom. I think it definitely needs a few things moved around around the colors of like gray with this bright red is not that great so i'm going to see if maybe we can change that a little bit so i'm thinking if we're going to go with red then we go kind of all out when it comes to the red we could do something like this but is that what we have in the other room it's very similar but it is slightly different so i think it's fine go with maybe a different rug how about the one that's like downstairs in this room because that one's got quite a nice dark red to it although it is very patterned so i don't know how i feel about that because it's kind of meshing in with the bed a little bit. I'm not a big fan of this bed. I prefer this one. Alternatively, we just go with this big red rug here. It doesn't like fit in a little bit better. I would rather it be the same size as the other one is kind of the only issue that I'm seeing here. We could move the bed around though, but I don't really know where we'd put it because it is quite nice there. Another option is that we could just do a smaller rug and do something like that, but it's very, again, it's very bright. Actually, this, this looks fine. I feel a little bit better about this. It doesn't necessarily need to be there though, just because we do have these seats which I still want to include. If we pull them back, they definitely need to pull back. We can do it in this one. Then I think I'm just literally just going to push it all more towards the windows. And that still looks pretty good. I don't know how I feel about this thing. I think let's get rid of that. And I'm going to change this to be the same ones that we've got in the other rooms. Maybe add some candles to this corner. Even though we do have quite a lot of lights in here already. But I think it's fine. Then go with maybe something like this in these corners. Which ones look better? I think the black looks a bit better. Then let's go with a big picture directly above the bed and then we do have quite a bit of space over here i'm considering that i think we need like a bigger wardrobe instead of this thing i am tempted to put this like at the end of the bed though so i do kind of like it i think it just needs what if we change the color we change it to black actually yeah the black one looks a lot nicer so let's do that and then i think over here we do just need more wardrobe we do have this slightly smaller one which could work then i think we're just gonna add a mirror right next to it probably like here so you can see when you're getting changed. And I kind of want to get rid of this 
set of drawers, but we'll move it over for now because I think I want this here. We'll add this cute little picture directly above. Then I am going to, we'll shuffle this over here for now and I might add some additional bits on top. I am half tempted to just add like two lights, but we've done that quite a bit already. What if we put like a little clock on there and then maybe a plant? Yeah, that looks quite nice. Then adding some wall lights just kind of fills in that wall space that we've got there. And then I think that's pretty good for there. We can then move on to the bathroom where to be honest, I think the bathroom actually looks all right. It's just a couple of things I want to change the colors of. Just basically what we did in the downstairs bathroom. Okay, I think that's looking a little bit nicer. Just kind of change things to be black instead. And I think that kind of makes it feel a bit more royal. But I think that's fine for the bathroom. Then we can move over to, we've got obviously our shared bathroom, which does not look that great. I don't know why there's like so much space in between everything. I think what we could do instead is put the bath here. So it's directly in front of these windows. So I'm going to move that over here before this over. So it's more central. Actually to be fair, having a rug in a bathroom makes no sense, but I might put it like over here as you first enter. Cause it feels a little bit nicer. Then we'll put the sink over on this side. I think just sort of moving some stuff around changing some colors I think I'm half still half tempted to change the walls just because I don't really like these like vertical stripes we could change it to something similar to what we had down here in terms of tiling we can get it in red as well how does that look Ooh, that's a bit I don't know if it's because of the flooring let's see if there's maybe anything that's a little bit plainer that might look nicer even just if it didn't have there you go that looks nicer just literally just without the horrible like stripes on there we'll shuffle this up and I'm gonna move this here and then I I might just add like a little plant in the corner add some lights directly above the toilet i might add like a little table just right next to this bath here so we can put some bits onto it there we go that looks a little bit nicer i think we need some plants as well around here and i did want to put curtains just directly here because this does lead all the way around to like our party area so you would definitely have people out there might end up just removing these two smaller ones just because it is quite difficult to be able to do it where we've got all of the curtains kind of in line with each other i think that still looks kind of all right we do just have like a bit of bare walls now though i might put like some dressing gowns or something there there we go that looks a little bit better we do have this entrance way here as well that i kind of want to add something to but i don't really know what we can add even just a small picture to be fair makes it look all right okay cool so i think that's the bathroom done we can then go up to our last room that we're renovating which is upstairs we've got our little single room here so i'm assuming that this is the kids room from the fact that it's got like this single bed but i definitely feel like we could rearrange this and make it look a bit more kitty. I'm going to keep this single bed but we're actually going to move it into this corner here. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter as well I think because at the minute it's very dark. Even this I think makes it a little bit brighter. Let's change the light to be the same color as the other ones. I'm going to add some of the wall lights as well that we've been adding. Okay so it's feeling a little bit nicer now in terms of moving some stuff around. We need to make it feel way more child friendly I think because this is definitely not having that vibe that it's a kids room at the moment. We've got like a, literally nothing that feels like it's for a kid except for maybe like this boat but even so. Oh I'm half tempted to incorporate this massive castle just because that's definitely for a child and obviously this is like almost castle-y what we've got here. It makes sense I think to have like a big castle in this kind of build where it's got this more Victorian feel about it. This one I think is probably the best one to pick. I do want to keep this chess like thing just because I feel like that's what they would want in order to like increase like obviously their skills and things. But I don't really know where I'm going to put it now that I've kind of moved everything around. If we put it here we wouldn't really have any space for the door. Another alternative is that we just change the wardrobe and then we could probably put it here. Go with this slightly more elegant wardrobe I think and then we can pop this on this side. Yeah I feel like that looks a little bit better. We'll incorporate more toys in a second I think. But now that we've got kind of our two different skill type things in there for kids we can then go in and do our final part which is just going to be decorating and making it feel way more kid friendly. I think I'm going to add a big mirror over here as well. I want like a couple of plants in here too just because there's nothing like that in there at the minute. Do like maybe a massive bear just right at the end of the bed. Kind of matches the red because of the little red bow that it's got. I know we could change the color though but there's not they're not that like close to being what would work in this room. Then I think I'm going to include a little teddy on top of this thing over here as well. It's looking a little bit more child friendly. We do have this obviously big 
like dragon thing as well which looks kind of cool if i maybe pull that one out a bit that looks pretty good i actually think i like that more than this teddy that we've got over here so i might remove that and maybe just move it over there but i do kind of like how cluttered that gives like as an effect though we've got another dragon over here as well but this one's a bit smaller then we do also have another horse so i might incorporate that there i don't really know how that's looking because everything's kind of like a bit cluttered i might maybe just move them around a bit could also incorporate a toy box we don't have the unfortunately because of the packs we're using obviously doing it in base game we don't have the one that looks like a castle which kind of sucks but we could just incorporate this more plain looking one just right at the end of the bed don't know if that's probably the best color to go with they all have like bright colors on them but we either have that one or we have this monster one and neither of them really look that great but i feel like the monster one is a little bit better because it doesn't have as many light colors but i do feel like that room looks a lot better now i think that's probably it then we've kind of renovated all the rooms now and there is our renovation of the goth house complete i think that this definitely looks a lot better i think i would actually be happy to play in it now originally i definitely would not have wanted to play in it mainly just because of a lot of garish colors i think that it looked a bit spacious in places it needed just a touch more clutter i think the color combinations for some of the rooms were just uh, quite a bit off i think that it looks a lot nicer now i think it was a good house for a decent sized family it feels like it's a little bit more usable there's a few more objects now that I think are just activities that the sims can partake in such as having parties there's a couple more activities that increase obviously the traits of each of the sims but let me know what you think of this build in the comments below I have uploaded this on the gallery and of course it is all base game so if you're running base game then that's absolutely fine be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it as well and subscribe if you haven't already I post long content weekly and I try to post shorts the rest of the week as well if you enjoyed this video there is another recommended video on the screen now so check that one out too and I hope you all have a a great evening.